a little village community of Bulgarian peasants and shepherds in the Carpathian Mountains. Preparations are being made for a traditional ritual in which bells play an important part. But in this early stage, their sound must not be heard. They must not even be seen for fear of waking evil spirits. Early in the morning, the bells are carried in great secrecy to an isolated cottage. There, some of the villagers are dressing up in grotesque masks and costumes. The Surbakari, or masked mummers, reenact the victory over the animals that threaten herds and flocks and crops. Animals such as the wolf. Birds such as the eagle. It is one of the oldest festivities in the Slavic world. It goes back to the time of the first settlements set up by groups of nomads who came from the steppes of Asia over 1,000 years ago in search of new territories in Eastern Europe. They changed from hunters always on the move into colonizers of the lands to which their long march had brought them. With their enormous masks, which represent both wild and domestic animals, the Survakari Mamas are a link with the heroic exploits of the past. In this particular village of Bulgaria, Oak Nanari, the masks give a very vivid idea of what the rituals were like in ancient Europe when nature worship was practiced. Now the cowbells can be rung triumphantly to drive away all evil spirits and the threat of ill luck. <laughs> In the original version of the celebration, the bear was a real one. <laughs> the possessing of the oldest and ugliest woman in the community, on the other hand, has always been staged symbolically. <laughs> She stands for winter. After going through the mime of being sexually assaulted, she turns into spring. The reference to making the earth fertile is underlined by the gesture of snatching the ears of corn. Not so long ago, the wrestling match between the bravest young man of the village and the captive bear was, as we said, not mimed but real. To risk one's life in this defiance of the violence of nature gave a sacred significance to the festivity. A colorful celebration of the victory over nature, won by nomads who finally settled down so many generations ago. Those men and their beliefs are the theme of the second episode of our series about the Slavs. <laughs>